Welcome back to Barbie Dolls of the Week, and Happy New Year, everyone. I, I haven't done a Barbie video in a little while, so now let's get back into the swing of things. And I've got several dolls to show you today, starting with some from the 80s that are favorites. And I thought, you know, since it's January and everyone, well, not everyone, but some people decide to go work out and go to the gym Let's look at the great shape dolls from the early 80s, um, some decades ago. So let's start with, for, you know, today I'm going to start with the Ken doll in the series because that's very rare that we do that. First, I'm going to fix his shirt because, you know, sometimes when they're on these wonderful stands that I like so much, and this one's kind of tall right now, um, their clothes gets get kind of bunched up. So I'm just going to fix his shirt real quick. Before um, I show him to you, well, it's not wanting to do what I wanted it to do, so we'll just leave it. Um, this is the Great Shape Ken, and you know, back then, and, and really even today, Ken can come in different color hair. Um, this particular one, as you can see, is a very dark-haired Ken. Um, he's got sort of that classic Ken face from that time period of the early 80s, and... Um, you know, this, this set was in a kind of a blue, almost like a aquamarine color. Like these pants to me are sort of an aquamarine. Or maybe even close to teal. Um, I don't think these are quite teal from what I think of as teal. Now, one thing I noticed, and I don't know if this was always the case, is um, this edge where they've got this, you know, yellow and blue striped area. Uh, the edges are kind of coming loose or just have extra fabric that could be maybe snipped off. But I don't remember that being there, to be honest. So either I'm just not remembering it or it's a new thing where it's sort of coming apart. I mean, these just are displayed, these dolls. So, I mean, it's not like they're getting a lot of movement or action on them. Um, they did have the metal snaps on the clothes back then. That's uh, you see here. And, of course, they tended to gape open in the back, which I never did like. I wish they could have put a second snap on there. Obviously, I could, or I could put a little something in there to hold it. But it's not that important. Like I said, this is displayed, and you don't usually see the back anyway. Um, the waistband is a little loose. You know, this is for years. Some of these were sitting, and that didn't help. So I really don't recommend you sit the dolls, um, especially these older ones. Now, you would see on my shelves back here, some of mine are sitting simply for space reasons. But I try to keep the ones sitting in things that are not going to get warped like this. Uh, so, like, maybe they're in a bathing suit or something like that. Um, but, yeah, this is still in very good shape. His legs um, still click and bend. By the way, he's got these sneakers on that are pretty common even today on the, some of the fashionistas. Uh, similar kind of shoes. And, you know, this is a kind of a flexible fabric. So, you know, it kind of makes sense that if you're at the gym, you want something that's sort of this kind of fabric. I don't know what exactly it is, but um, it it's feels like gym clothes that I've worn in the past. So, yeah, this is the Ken. And then let's move on to the Barbie. Um, she is in a similar color as well as the uh, African-American one. Uh, she, they're both in this same kind of, you know, aquamarine, what I'm calling aquamarine. If you look at this, to me, they do look a little different in color. Let's try to get his pants up here where we can see them better. But it's not like it's the identical color, but they're similar. Um, she's got the headband. I mean, this is just like right out of the box and nothing really done to it. Um, I think this is a very 70s Almost, it has a 70s feel to it, early 80s, you know, something like that, where the hair is sort of, it's not really parted in the middle, but it sort of almost looks that way. Let me see if I can, I'm going to take that off for a minute. Obviously, her hair is kind of mushed down from this being on it. Um, this is faded over the years, I think. I mean, if you look at the back, it's more blue than the front, which is almost a gray at this point. So that's definitely faded some. Um, let's put that back on her now. Uh, she has the straight arms, and you know that was worked well for this doll, I think, especially depending on what you wanted her to do as far as exercise, types of exercise, I mean. 
Um, of course, her legs bend and click. Still very well. She herself bends. I'm being gentle because you never know when an older doll can just break. Um, you know, there's that thought, thought uh, mindset that if they're out of the box, they're not as fragile as when they're in the box for many, many years. So I hope that's true when I show you dolls like this. Um, and, you know, obviously her arms go up. They can go up above her head and really all the way around um, on both sides, of course. Uh, they don't bend anywhere else. The hands are a little bit flexible, but that's about it. Um, she's got a great face. Her great shape has a great face. And um, this lovely pink uh, wraparound cincher for her waist, which is good. You know, helps show off her hourglass figure. And then these leg warmers, which are very famous. And you know, some people think those are attached to the outfit, but no, they're actually separate and you can take them off. Um, nowadays, they probably would be right on it because you know, they're more concerned, first of all, about cost, but also about um, little ones putting these in their mouth. Um, so, you know, I noticed that most dolls say three and up. And by the way, they're making new, or they have made new, my first Barbie dolls that are taller than these by a couple inches. And also, I guess they're soft-bodied, I'm not sure. Um, but they said, oh, well, those are better for, you know, younger kids, like three-year-olds. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, but these are all, like the fashionistas say, three and up. And I'm assuming these did, too. I don't know without looking at a box, which I don't have in front of me right now, but... But yeah, the Great Shape series was a really good one, especially, you know, you had the Jane Fonda workout and other aerobic kind of workouts at the time that really set the tone for the fitness craze that was going on then. And so that's, I believe, why these dolls came out, not really due to New Year's or anything like that, or new resolutions about weight and exercise. Um, so yeah, this is the Barbie. And then the other doll, which would have, I guess, been called Barbie 2 at the time, uh, Black Barbie, or just African-American Barbie, um, depending on, I think that had already switched it over at that point. Because um, I'm trying to remember if these were from 82 or 84. I'm thinking these were 84, so definitely would have been switched by that time from Christie. Um, I'm going by memory again. So, you know, she's just very similar as far as, you know, all the same outfit. Now you can see that her headband is not as faded. And it also could be because, let's see, it is bluer in the back. So it's definitely got fading. It could also be because of her skin tone and hair color that it shows up better. Um, same body, you know, they don't have different bodies. Uh, so the arms are the same. Uh, she can... By the way, there were sets that went with this with exercise equipment. So you can actually actual play set of a gym. Um, so yeah, there are different kinds. I've seen some where there were some lockers and uh, of course the barbells and things. Uh, she's got a curly hair do. And uh, it's about the same length as Barbie, I guess. A little bit shorter. I was going to say it's curly. It you know tends to be shorter. And then she's got the face mold you see here. I'm not sure what this one is called. I've probably heard it before, but I don't recall right now. Um, I think this is a good face mold. I like it. I think that, you know, there's obviously ones that are open mouth too. I think this one was used for various dolls throughout the years though. Um, I believe there is also a skipper in this set. I don't have that skipper uh, or pretty much most skippers. I just don't collect skipper. And again, it's all about choices. And skipper was never something that interests me or someone that interests me well, very much. So I just don't have that because don't have room for it all. And in the meantime, what a great set this is. I mean, when you put just these three together, I mean, you've got three great dolls ready to exercise and do the jumping jacks and other aerobic exercise and and no wonder they're so fit. Uh, now, one other doll I want to show you today that's not related to those. Uh, my newest fashionista doll from this year, or last year, however you want to look at that. I guess it would have been last year. Is number 199. I almost said 200 because I'm thinking ahead. 
uh, and that's this young lady you see here. Um, I think that's such a cute drawing, by the way, of her. And here's a picture of the set that she's from, and I already had some of these, like definitely this person here and um, this one. But this one's right here, actually. Okay, so let's take a look at this one in the flash, and that's number 199, and she's got this purple and white outfit, which I actually like. I think this is, you know, I think they're actually getting a little better. I have to give Mattel credit. The dolls are better in the Fashionista line lately, or at least most of them. And the outfits, most of them tend to be nice. She has these pink shoes, you see. And my cat just loves these shoes, by the way. Shirley is her name. Um, and by the way, you can see some shorts of Shirley, if you haven't already, on my short videos. Uh, so check those out. Uh, so yeah, this is, um, to me, she looks Asian. I, I would assume she's supposed to be Asian. I'm not 100% sure, but looks like it to me. And I think she's just beautiful. She's got decently long hair down to her waist in the back. And she also has this bracelet on this bent arm here. That matches her shoes. The same pink, it looks like to me. Um, just a really great face. And that's why I wanted her is the whole look. Now, also on the back, I just want to show you one other doll, and that's this number, I think it says 201. I want 201, but she wasn't out yet. Um, this one, third from the end here. I, got, I have this guy. I should have brought him in to show you, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, this one is probably the only other one for sure that I want in this particular line. Um, let me just look for a minute. I'm not sure about this second one. I'd have to see her in person. She's possible. But you know, the fashionistas have gone up in price. They went from, I used to be able to get them for $7.99 at Walmart. And now on Amazon and some of the other places, they're $10.99. So it's a big jump. Uh, now some of those like Target already had them at $9.99. So I don't know if they've changed theirs to $10.99. But um, that's unfortunate that they went up like that. So you know, there's so many times you can get those dolls on sale. I got several, including this one, by the way. I got a duplicate of this one that's still in the package on sale for five something uh, around the holidays. So, you know, always look out for those sales. You don't always have to pay full price. That's why I'm willing to wait on some of these. It's not like I'm in a rush. So when I occasionally get a fashionista these days, it's not that often. Um, now, this one I did pay the $10.99 because I had a gift card from the holidays and I didn't so I wasn't actually paying for it anyway um, but I think she's a great doll and that other one I showed you number 201 I don't know who number 200 is let me see maybe this one uh, I don't see I'll have to look with my magnifying glass because they're so small those numbers uh, but in the meantime I hope you've enjoyed this video and we will see you next time and I'm not sure what uh, name she might be, but we'll think about a possible name. Actually, I don't normally name my dolls, but when I look at them, I'm like, oh, who does she look like? Or what name would fit her? Like maybe Erin would fit her. E-R-I-N. Um, I don't know. So Lisa. Lisa would be good, too. She kind of reminds me of Lisa Ling. That's why that, I said that. But anyway, you have a great week, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.